This weather has people reaching their breaking point, and a woman in Southie is fired up after someone did this to her car. She says it was all because of a parking spot. Yeah, someone apparently was getting revenge for taking their already shoveled out spot. The night team, Susan Tran, is in South Boston with her story. And Elizabeth, this person not only keyed her car, but snatched three windows. So this woman was just trying to find a parking spot last night. She turned onto C Street here. She found a space much like this one. It did not have a space saver, so she parked her car. And it wasn't until the next morning when she was going to work that she noticed her car was trashed. I just kind of backed away and, oh gosh, I don't know, I just started crying. Cassandra Avello, a young mom, comes out to the southeast street to head to work, only to find her car trashed. Even her daughter's car seat in the back didn't stop the person who smashed three windows and keyed her car with a note, not okay. It took work and it was freezing, so I don't know how they stayed out there and did that, and I am i don't really know how nobody saw them. It was early Friday morning. Cassandra was visiting her boyfriend in Southie. She says she's from Chelsea and has her own shoveled out spot, so she knows the rules. But when she parked Thursday night, there were no markers saving the space here on C Street. I know, like I said, how long it takes to, to shovel out a spot like that, so I definitely wouldn't park somewhere where it was saved for someone. While the vandalism is criminal, space savers are a tradition on Boston streets. And Friday, Mayor Marty Walsh changed the rules involving space savers. Historically, it's been 48 hours after a snowstorm. Everyone stops saving spaces. Uh, because of what we've had, eight feet of snow over the course of the last three and a half weeks, we've, we've stopped that policy for a little bit. For Cassandra, she says with the nearby security cameras, police are hopeful they'll catch the vandal. But she also says she believes in a higher power. Honestly, karma's just going to get them. I, I promise. Like, I don't even have to do anything. I just, I feel bad for them, more or less, because, you know, bad things happen to bad people. And Cassandra says to top off her horrible day, the preschool teacher says when she called her employers to tell them she was going to be late because someone trashed her car, she says they fired her. Live in South Boston tonight, Susan Tran, 7 News 19.